So on this one, we're um, trying to plug in, but the function is a little more complex this time. So, so the function that we're plugging into, let me write it right over here, is four times the square root of one times x plus three. That's all under the square root, and then in the back of the root is a two. So at least for mine. So that's what we're plugging into every time. So for the first one, then let me write that out four times the square root of one times. I'm going to plug in that x. And so what is the x? The x is zero. So you see what I've done right there? I just used that formula, but I plugged in right there x equals zero because. That's the first x value. And then I just have to work that out. What does that come out to be? Well, four plus the square root. One times zero is just zero. Huh. Plus three, in fact, I'm just gonna make that whole inside. Zero plus three is just three in there, isn't it? Well, that's supposed to be times, not plus. Huh? Four times square root of three. So I just worked out that whole inside. One times zero plus three is just three plus two at the back, okay? And then you hit the buttons on your calculator. Take four times the square root of three and then add two. And whatever number you get, and then they want you to round it to two decimal places. So I'll just write calculator. So just hit the buttons on your calculator on that. And it'll come out for you. That makes sense. And then type that in. So I, I would make sure submit. Remember, you don't have to do all the blanks. I would give, I would answer the first blank, submit it, make sure it's right before you go on. You know, that way you make sure you're not messing up on your calculator. So just hit the buttons on your calculator and get that answer. Four times the square root of three plus two, like that. And then for the next one, <clears throat> for the next one, we're gonna now we're gonna plug in one. So we're gonna go again. I'll change the color. Clarity is gonna be four times the square root of one times plus three with the plus two in the back. And next we're plugging in a one because x is one, right? These are the x values over here on the left side. So now I'm plugging in one. So that's going to become four times the square root. What is, what is one times one plus three? Well, that's one plus three, that's four, with the plus two at the back. So that one I can do by hand, because I know what's the square root of four? It's just two. And so that comes out 10. So that one I can do by hand is just 10. So again, just hit the buttons on your calculator. Though. You don't have to do it like I did it. Just hit the buttons on your calculator. Four times the square root of four plus two. And it'll come out. Ten. And then you just keep going. Just plug each of those numbers in one at a time. So it's kind of a tedious problem. You got to figure out all of those values one at a time. Let me do one more. So the next one. It's going to be four times square root of one times plus three with the plus two at the back. What do we plug it in this time? X is two. Like that. And so this out. the whole inside here, one times two plus three, that's two plus three, five. And then hit the buttons on your calculator, four times the square root of five plus two, and you'll get your, your calculated value, et cetera. Go all the way through using your calculator. You'll get all those values. There we go.